So according to some people, the upcoming Eternals film might be our first big revelation and connection to Namor in the MCU in a very direct way. So let's get to all of this and uh, we'll see if there's anything that could actually come of this. So if you've been following us here for a while, you know, you know, we're probably uh, very excited that we're eventually going to get Namor in the MCU. And if you just watch the MCU, there's been a few Easter eggs, but nothing really direct. Now, as far as we know, Marvel Studios fully owns Namor. They're looking to do something with the character. And our first establishment of who this character is and his world might be happening in the Eternals. Now, there's a few websites out there. You guys can just search up Namor Eternals and you'll probably get it. So I don't want to directly source one but um they're saying that namor will be directly hinted at in the film and how this is going to come about is the fact that one of the fathers of one of the main characters is going to be attacked by a sea creature that is led by atlanteans and this is going to set up that whole world thus when they abandon earth the sinking of atlantis happens this of course builds up namor in the kingdom and his resentment for pretty much everything and i personally think you know this would work again Atlantis is ancient. You probably want to stress that throughout the film. You want to stress that they were there just like the ancient Egyptians, the Babylonians, you know, ancient Chinese cultures, uh, India, if you look at all that. You know, if you look at real world history, there's a lot of things there that connect to ancient times that have been completely wiped away. Atlantis just happens to be one of the most known things, but it happens to also be important to Namor and to the MCU. So if you want to do it that way, I honestly think it makes the most amount of sense. And you kind of already build up who Namor is because as of right now, I don't think Marvel greenlights a Namor film. To me, it just doesn't make sense. They're gonna look like they're trying to copy Aquaman, which it's the other way around when it comes to the comics. But either way, I think just giving Namor a sort of foundation and Atlantis giving them a foundation in Eternals and then having a the character inevitably show up once the Eternals pop up in modern day because he's like, oh yeah, those guys are responsible for the downfall of Atlantis. I'm gonna go attack them now and giving him a villain role. That sort of makes sense. So yeah, I think this could happen. Um, Realistically, do I expect it to? At this point, I've just given up on Namor 100%. I just don't think they're ever gonna do it. But if it happens, this will be it. This is the perfect place.